Hello everyone, I'm Port Scientist 7 and welcome to Polycore Media's part 2 of the Fail Winters Y Quest. Well, the community has finally done it. We have finally unlocked the next step in the Fail Winters Y quest line. So, as you can see, we have to go and visit Anna Bray now, back on Marth, for the next quest step. That was an exhausting first step. For the community and of course luckily Bungie had changed the or no gave us multiplier so we can actually get it done by the next week so let's head on over to Anna Bray and see what she has to say to us all right there's Anna Bray hello again So Rasputin has singled out our guardian, even though they, there was many guardians participating in the Sarah Towers. Well, you know, those many guardians is all of us, since we're technically the only real guardians playing or active in the event. So let's go ahead and click on this um, here real quick. Let's see. Oh uh, yes. That's the next step, isn't it? All right, we get to go to was that Vostok? Nice. Haven't been there except for the Iron Well, Fell Winter's Peak, basically. We haven't actually been there in a while since a what? No, a normal walk around besides the PVP map. So you can always visit there in your private matches, but we're going to be going to the EDZ. So it's down in the bottom left hand corner. As you can see, I have two dots uh, or two quest things. I still have the Rissing Ward. I like to visit the common Cosmodrome every once in a while. So let's see. A War Mine Secrets. What could Rasputin be hiding? I think we all kind of heard the data mine more information. But let's go ahead and load in. All right, look at that. We're back at Felt Winter's Peak. This is where I'm getting the weird readings from. There's old Rasputin data associated with a few coordinates on this mountain. And I mean old, dark age. Huh, I didn't think he was active after the collapse. See what you can- I really do like this map. I kind of wish they would last you let us at the Iron, the Iron Lord's Helm over there. Been a it would be awesome if we could actually go in that space again. Maybe they'll unlock it for us sometime in the future. So I'm going to be doing some quick cuts to each location. First one's right here, right next to where you spawn. The next one is towards this building. Go off to your left and you'll see it above on this hill. And then the last one will be located off to your right, up inside this building. What's interesting is this one right here is actually uh, this little collection of SIVA. Each little bit of lore is very interesting. So, once you complete this, you will have the next test, um, quest tab. <laughs> Which is going to be the most annoying of all. The next uh, quest tab, as you can see, is going to be Shotgun Telemetry. So, 0%. And this will take a while. Some people have found ways to do it really easy and quickly. Uh, for me, I am going to be going to the Leviathan and farming the Cabal there. From when you have to open the doors. So it will be quite easy for me. Honestly, it's just it'll, it'll still take me some time. People have some either ways. So I'm going to be running triple shotgun. And I'm going to be using some armor mods from the Season of Dawn. To allow, uh, basically, every time I get a kill and I have charge light, there's a chance of special ammo to drop. And so, I'm going to be having the Legend of Accurus as well as, um, what was it called? Graviton? Forfeit? Oh, no, wait. Tractor Cannon. Wow, I don't even know what I'm talking about when it comes to the weapons anymore. Too many exotics. So, I'm just going to grab the Legend of Accurus and Tractor Cannon for this. I probably end up using uh, Legend of Accurus more often. So, every 10 kills, 
will be, let's see. If it's a thousand kills, which is what we'll have to do, every 10 kills is 1%. So you can see how this would be very tedious grind to do. So I'll be cutting here in a second and showing you the tail end of my journey. And this is me just reviving after being pummeled in the face just now. But I'm at, what, 98, 99%. So quick kills. Uh, just run in, shoot them. Um, uh, what I found while doing this is that when you're going for these shotgun heals, you need to just shoot them and run away. Get some health back, shoot them again. Just run, or, just run through them, shoot as many as you can, run out like that. So you just saw I just completed the quest, which requires me to now go to the moon. Now this is the part that I've been waiting to do in much of the Destiny community, is to see the secret uh, room on the moon bunker. So we need to go to see. Uh, wow, sorry about that. I'm losing my train of thought. It's been a while. So we're heading down to the moon bunker, and. As you see, we ha we'll get a quick notification. Or what was it called? Uh, whatever. So yeah, you'll see this. Who we will have to talk to Rasputin. The lunar trip. We'll read the quick dialogue. You know, completed this, completed that, accepted. It's gonna clear out or. Not, not have to clear out the daily bunker and we'll have to go walk over there to that door in a second but this is probably where it will end for now because this next part of the quest is bugged and so far no one's been able to do it as far as I know so when you do this it's really supposed to load it in and then you're supposed to go through but people have been spawning right here at the uh, moon sanctuary and if it does this apparently the mission is bugged even if you go back to the bunker which I tried and messed around with for several minutes it does not do a thing uh, so right now the quest is bugged and we have to wait until Bungie fixes it and then they might do in their hot fix that they have today preparing for tomorrow's maintenance or we'll have to wait after the weekly reset tomorrow so thank you everyone for watching this video all that who do and please subscribe to Polycore Media. Leave a comment. We have a Discord description down below. And also click the notification bell to stay notified for any new uploads that we have.